Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your Daily Wallops weather briefing for Wednesday, November 20th. Seeing some uh, cloudy to mostly cloudy skies out there once again this morning. Temperature is uh, similar to yesterday morning as well, down into the uh, low 40s, near 40 degrees for our low earlier this morning. We are going to see some high pressure build in as we go throughout the afternoon and into tonight. That's going to finally help to clear out the cloud cover that we've been seeing the past couple of days giving us some uh, mostly clear skies as we go into tonight and then a much uh, sunnier day tomorrow, but still cool as we'll have a cool air mass lingering overhead. <clears throat> Taking a look at our surface analysis across the country this morning, we do, you do see that high pressure uh, building over the uh, eastern half of the country this morning. That's going to continue to move eastward as we go throughout uh, today and into tonight, and then we'll get some drier air ushered in, a little bit of subsidence. That will help to clear out those clouds as we go late this afternoon and into uh, tonight. Also helping to give us a little bit uh, more of a better chance for some um, cooling tomorrow. So we're going to see those temperatures dip into the mid-30s uh, across portions of the Delmarva as we go into tomorrow morning. But going to see uh, temperatures still similar to what we have been seeing as we'll have a cool air mass lingering overhead. And then we'll see those temperatures start to rebound as we go later into the week. Taking a look at our upper level winds this morning. See a northwesterly winds at the surface up to uh, about 9,000 feet, so running around 10 knots or so at the surface and then increasing to the uh, 22 knots at that 9,000 foot level, then shifting more west-northwesterly. Still fairly a week as we have that upper uh, ridge building into the area, only maxing out at about 28 knots at the 16,000 foot level and then uh, even weaker at that 25,000 foot level. Seeing a freezing level this morning just above 4,500 feet. Take a quick look at our satellite loop this morning across the region. We have been seeing in the past couple mornings a widespread cloudiness across the mid-Atlantic region. Seeing a little bit of a change this morning with uh, clear skies really over across uh, much of the Carolinas and uh, over more, most of uh, Virginia. Really only the uh, mountainous portions of the state and here along the Delmarva are seeing the uh, continued cloudiness. We will be seeing uh, those clouds continue for the next several hours, and then as we go towards the end of the workday, things should start to really clear up quickly, and then especially into tonight as we get that high pressure building in closer to the area. So for today, going to be seeing a high temperature near 53 degrees this afternoon. Winds are going to increase just a little bit as we go towards late morning hours this afternoon, becoming uh, 8 to 13 knots by lunchtime, then 10 to 15 knots early this afternoon with the uh, some slightly gusty winds, especially if we get into a new, uh, little bit <clears throat> more sunshine. Uh, could see a brief wind gust to 25 knots, but not really expecting a wind advisory today. As we go into uh, this evening, going to see those winds slowly weaken, becoming uh, northwestly at 6 to 11 knots for much of the overnight hour, then 5 to 10 knots by the mid-morning hours of Thursday, with a low of 37 degrees expected for tomorrow morning. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, currently seeing a few clouds near 4,000 feet, broken deck at 5,500, overcast at 7,000. As we go throughout the late morning and early afternoon, we'll see those uh, mid-level clouds slowly break up, becoming a few of 4,000 scattered at 5,500 by about 3 p.m., and then uh, just becoming a few at the 5,000 and perhaps a few at 10,000 towards the end of the workday and near sunset. Tonight, just going to be expecting a few clouds near 3,500 feet mainly, and uh, just uh, seeing a few clouds near 2,000 feet and a few cirrus clouds by sunrise tomorrow. Tides have started to finally subside across the region. Right now, only seeing tides about a half foot above normal along the Delmarva Atlantic co coast. Should be returning to completely normal by uh, tomorrow at the latest. Let's take a quick look at our uh, long-term uh, model to see how our weather pattern is going to progress over the next several days. Here you see that high pressure building in as we've been talking about as we go into tonight and into tomorrow. That's going to give us some partly cloudy to perhaps mostly sunny skies for our day tomorrow with uh, continued cool temperatures. Highs expected to be only in the low 50s. As we go into Thursday night and Friday, that high pressure is going to start to build more across the southeast. And that will help to promote a southwesterly flow across the region, helping to bump our temperatures up across the mid-Atlantic and Delmarva more uh, with that milder flow for... Uh, Thursday night into Friday. We are going to be seeing some uh, partly cloudy skies Friday morning, and then we'll start to see uh, that uh, front approach the area for the Friday afternoon time frame. That is going to give us some uh, scattered showers throughout uh, Friday afternoon and into Friday evening as well. 
as we go on to late Friday night, it does look like that front is going to move south of the region, so that should help for uh, some cooler air to briefly filter into the region for uh, early Saturday morning. Um, so we are expecting dry conditions on uh, Saturday morning, perhaps even seeing still some sunshine around the sunrise. But as we go into Saturday afternoon, we're going to see a uh, low right along that front that is stalled out, that will be stalled out across the Carolinas. That's going to drag a warm front across the region Saturday evening. So this look like Saturday evening and a Saturday night. We'll see those temperatures increase. So expecting the low temperature Saturday morning to occur early. And then we'll see those temperatures rise Saturday night as well as getting some uh, scattered showers associated with that warm front. <clears throat> as that low continues to progress, we're going to see rain showers continue into Sunday morning with a cold front quickly following that warm front. And we'll see temperatures once again drop once we go into Saturday afternoon. And then for the beginning of next week, seeing a broad area high pressure building in to give us some uh, dry, uh, seasonable weather for at least the first half of next week. So taking an overview look at our seven day forecast, going to continue to be mostly cloudy day with high of 53. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, but still a little chilly out there with that high of 52. Then Friday, we'll get those winds shifting southwesterly, bringing in a little more moisture and uh, some a little milder temps with to bump temperatures into the low 60s ahead of our front that's expected to impact us on Friday uh, afternoon and evening. That'll bring us that 50% chance of showers. Doesn't look like a guaranteed chance of rain, but about 50% chance of seeing some scattered uh, showers across the region as we go into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. And then those rain showers should let up as we go late into Friday night as that front moves south of the region. For Saturday, we are going to see a chillier morning with a a low of 36 as those winds shift northerly behind that front. And then like we had talked about Saturday afternoon, that uh, front's going to begin to move back north across the Wallops region in the form of a warm front. We're going to be seeing uh, that low of 48 as we go into Saturday night occur early. Um, and then we'll see temperatures rise as we go throughout Saturday night as we get to that low trend uh, moving across the region, seeing a good chance of some rain, perhaps even briefly heavy rain as we go uh, across the entire overnight period of Saturday. Seeing some showers lingering through a mid-morning hours of Sunday, and then we'll start to see those uh, skies clear out as we get some colder, cooler, drier air starting to move in a bit, expecting that a high for Sunday morning to occur, uh, for Sunday to occur in the morning, and seeing those temperatures drop um, as we go throughout the day on Sunday as we get that cooler, drier air moving in. Then Monday and Tuesday, expecting some uh, a broad area of high pressure to overtake the eastern half of the country. That'll give us some seasonable dry weather under partly cloudy skies through um, at least the first half of next week. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. Have a great day.